What is the meaning of improvisation? What are the values contained in it? How can a creative, improvisatory approach strengthen us as musicians? We know that improvisation exists in many musical cultures and that it has been a primary driving force throughout music history. We also know that in the times of Bach and Mozart, improvisation was considered the peak of musical creativity, combining composition and performance at the highest level. What is the relevance of improvisation for us in the 21st century? Let us take three notes. B. B flat. G. How many different pieces can we create with them?
Improvisation invites a wealth of musical and expressive possibilities, yet the study of improvisation is not as widespread as it should be. Music is a communicative language. Can we imagine learning a language only by reading, memorizing and reciting written texts without being able to speak that language fluently? Of course not. Similarly, we should not let the study of music suffer from this unnatural approach. For musicians, improvisation has numerous benefits. It stimulates the imagination and encourages creativity. It deepens compositional thinking and fosters a personal relationship to playing an instrument. For audiences, witnessing an improvised performance is a unique experience. This is live music making in the true sense of the word, music being created in the moment. And from a wider perspective, improvisation in music inspires creativity in life. It reminds us that we live here and now, that we are creative human beings. We can use our minds, our senses, our skills, our knowledge in order to create something, in order to express something, both in our daily activities and also in musical and artistic activities that enrich our lives and enrich the lives of others around us. The study of improvisation may seem mysterious, but in fact, it is a logical and gradual process with rewards at every step. Several basic principles will guide you along the way. Work with short and manageable exercises so that you can create success at every step in the process. Think before you play, your fingers should not move faster than your mind. Also, attempt to hear each note, each chord before you play it. This will determine your practice tempo. You can break down the process to small steps. You can separate musical parameters, melody, rhythm, harmony, texture, separate hands, work with shorter segments. If you want to work on melody, make the harmony simple and repetitive. If you want to work on harmony, you can play vertical chords. If you want to work on texture, again, you can make the other elements simpler. You should have patience. Learning a skill, learning a language is a long process. Be patient. And finally, enjoy. Enjoy every moment, enjoy every achievement, no matter how small. Let this be a fulfilling experience for everyone embarking on this wonderful journey. Let us start with improvising a melody. We can take two notes. From these two notes, we can create several continuations. We can do this. We can do that. Or different things. We can start thinking about basic rhythms. Or we can think about steps and leaps. We can create repetition of patterns. And then we can change. When we create repetition, we create expectation. And then when we change it, then that becomes noticeable. We can also think about the highest note of the phrase, the peak.
I shall now play a complete melody. <laughs> 